Okay, guys. The next area that the next figure that I want to show you is solving for the sir, the perimeter and the area of this guy. First, let's work out what's the perimeter. You know, right? Oh, by the way, we can play the game called area of the shaded figure here. You know why? Because in this guy, Tingamoto, it says here that this line it measures 14 meters. This line here measures 9 meters. Okay? So, to get the perimeter of this figure, it's very easy. You know what this is? It's a rectangle. So, therefore, to get the perimeter of the rectangle, it's just 2L times 2W. Right? So, therefore, it's 14 times 2. So, therefore, ang perimeter na yan ay 14 times 2 plus 9 times 2. 14 times 2 is 28. 9 times 2 is 18. So, therefore, the perimeter of this figure is... 46 meters. Because 8 plus 8 is 16. And 1 plus 2 plus 1, 46. So that's the perimeter of the figure. Now here's the catch. Do I remember what your goal is? There, let's say that is what you that is what would happen if you were to ask to get the perimeter of this rectangle. But there's a catch that I put there. You want to know what's the catch? There's a what you call this a semicircle inside. So let's say if you're asked to solve for the perimeter, that includes the semicircle naman. First, let's solve for the perimeter of the semicircle. You know already how to solve for the perimeter of a circle, right? It's always pi times d. But look at the circle. Do you notice it just shows one-fourth of it, right? So therefore, one-fourth of a circle is just pi times the radius, pi times the diameter, divided by 4. So you'll just have to get the circumference of the circle and then divide by 4. But look, diba? you notice that this is just a radius, diba? We know a full semicircles like this to make a diameter. So therefore, it's just half pi, right? So therefore, you will have to double it, make it 12. So therefore, ang gagawin mo ay 3.14 times 6 times 2, diba? 6 times 2 is 12. And then we need to divide that by 4. We can simplify 4 and 6, which makes it 2 and 3. Furthermore, we can also simplify 2 and two, the 2s, the which makes it 3.14 times 3, which gives you 9.42 meters. Alright? Hey, we're still not yet done. Because remember that 9.42 pertains to the curve part. But we want to get, but we want to get the, you know, the one that involves the, you know, this guy and this guy. So this is what you do. Remember, 9.42 pertains to the curve part, right? So don't forget, if you're just going along the curve part, but we forgot the two radii that we need to add up. So we need to add up the two radii. And to do that, here's how you do it. Therefore, to add up the radii, you know already what to do. It's just plus the rad It's just adding the radii together. So plus 6 plus 6, or 12. So therefore, ang final answer now in I... 21.42 meters. So, yun po ang circumference. So, that's the circumference of the one-fourth of a circle. Now, let's say if you're asked to get the curve part in radians. Di ba remember ang radians ay radius times the angle of the degree and then times pi divided by 180. But since we know this is forms a 90 degree, so therefore it's 90 degrees. And the radius is 6. So, therefore it will look like something like this. Right? Times pi over 180. Okay? So it would look so your formula would look something like this. Your 90 and 180 divide by 2. Right? So this becomes 1, this becomes 2. Moreover, 6 and 2 they cancel, which makes this 1, and this becomes 3. So pi times 3 na lang. And you still get the same as 9.42 meters. Okay? Now that's the circumference of the one fourth of a circle if it's just individualized. Now, just like what I said, it's just that we are parting this figure all together. We want to get this entire thing. Yung ito, 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 ito. Pati kasama pa rin yung curve. So what do you do? Okay, this is very easy. First, we need to get the measure of these two. But here's the catch. Remember, this is 9 meters, right? If this measures 9 meters, and then one radii here measure the length of the radii from the radii of the circle... Measure 6 meters. So what do we do? Subtract. 
So therefore, this should become 3 meters na lang. Okay? On the other hand, yun na sa taas, if this is 14, and then this is 6, this should be 8. Correct? Auto, it's not drawn to scale, pero okay lang yan. Now we add everything up. 3 plus 8 is 11, plus 9 is 20, plus 14 is 34. Now for 34, we add it with the 9.42 which we got earlier, and we should come up with 43.42 meters. Yan. So that is the perimeter of, of the entire figure. This guy. Now let's solve for the area. For the area, madali lang yan. You know why? It just so happens and it lies the application of what you've learned. First, let's solve for the area of the rectangle. Area of rectangle, madali lang yan. Length times width. Eddie, 9 times 14. So 9 times 14, the area of rectangle, area of rectangle is 9 times 14. Length times width, di ba? So you should come up with 126 square meters. Okay? Now for the sem now for one fourth of the circle. For one fourth of the circle, we need to solve for its area. You know the area of a literal circle is always pi times radius squared, diba? Right? But since it shows one fourth of a circle, we have to divide that by four. But six meters is already the radius. So we need to square the radius. So ganito ang formula namin. So area of this guy, the semicircle, yung ganon, one fourth of a circle is 3.14 or pi times the radius squared, which is 6 squared, divided by 4. Now, if I were to simplify this further, this would become 3.14 times 36 divided by 4. We can cross out 34, 36 and 4, which makes it 3.14 times 9. So therefore, it should be 28.26 square meters. All right? That should be the area of the circle. Now, if you were to try it in radian form, it would go like this. The radian will go like this. 1 half times pi times radius squared. Kung ganito yung gagawin mo, do you think you will still get the 28.26? Let's see. First, we know that 1 half is just 1 half. 3.14. Tek, ah, yeah, kasi po, di ba remember, we need to have theta. Theta. Di ba remember, meron kaming theta. 1 half of pi times theta, theta times radius squared. Theta, that's 90 over 60, the angle that you want. So that's 1 fourth times 1 fourth times 36, diba? So tama, that should be something like this. It should be something like this, but I'm not so sure. Ah, gets ko na, kasi po 3.14 times 1 fourth times 36, therefore hindi na kasali yung 1 half. Yung 1 half, it's only for 180 lang. Well, never mind. I'm, I'm so unsure about the radian formula. But if you want to know more about the radian formula, panawin mo yan sa YouTube. Okay? So lang. Now, are we done? Di pa tayo tapos. Pero malapit na tayo matapos dyan. You know why? All we just need to do is to simply subtract. Kasi po, remember, we just want to get this area. Paano for us to solve for the area of the shaded region? Yung ito. Yung may wala siyang it, ganito. You'll have to get the area of the rectangle and deduct it with the area of the one-fourth of the circle which you got earlier. So you can get this part. Parang just so happens, just like area of the shaded region. Now we have 126 minus this guy. Of course, this, sh this should be both zeros. If I were to do mental math, ganito yung mangyayari. How many digits did I skip? I think it's 97, di ba? Or 90... Tama, 97, di ba? And then 10 minus 6 is 4. And then this becomes 9. 74. So 5, 15 minus 87, and then 11. So tama. The remnant area of the figure should be 97.74 square meters. So that's our problem, folks.